Hey everybody. So today we are going to make these sun catchers. I will show you all the materials. Um, these sun catchers are really great to hang up in your window where the sun shines through and the sun looks really, really pretty through the tissue paper. So today for materials, we're going to need construction paper, whatever color you want. That's going to be the border on your shape. You need a pair of scissors to cut out that shape. I have here both regular glue and a glue stick. Um, they both have pros and cons. This is a lot easier to use, but it does leave little dots. And you can see them when the sun shines through. I covered mine up a little bit on this one, so you can't see it. Um, so this glue does work pretty well. A glue stick does um, is a little more hidden on your art, but it can be hard because it can rip the tissue paper. Um, so whatever you prefer is great. I grabbed a pencil just so I can draw a shape onto my construction paper because it's easier for me. And then you're going to need lots of different kinds of tissue paper. You can use as many colors as you want. You could do one color, two colors, ten colors, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to use like three or four different colors. So the first step is going to be to make our border. So this one I drew a heart. I thought that might be easy. Um, the way that I did that is I folded a piece of paper in half. And then I cut out a heart like this. Um, that was to make sure both sides were equal and looked the same. And then after I had a heart cut out, I cut out the inside of the heart to open up the inside. This time I'm actually going to draw more of a circle. So I'm going to fold them in half. The paper is not quite even. And then I'm going to cut out half of the circle so that when I open it up it'll be a full circle. So now since I cut it the first time, oh, it's kind of a full circle, <laughs> more of an oval, but that's okay. Um, now I'm going to cut out just an inside portion, show you what that looks like. So now I'm left with a shape like this that has a border. That's what I want. So after you have that, we're going to move on to using the tissue paper. So um, I've tried this a few times to figure out the best way to do it. A lot of ways online tell you to use contact paper. Um, I didn't have any, so I'm just making do without. But what I figured out works the best is if I take one color of tissue paper, and you'll have to have a little bit bigger piece for this, but I'm going to um, cut out enough to cover the back of my sheet. So what I, what I did um, to kind of fix not having the contact paper was I made one layer of just one color on the back and then um, after that I started adding different colors. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to cut out a square that's just a little bit bigger than the shape that I have right now. This paper is also really easy to rip if you want to just rip it. this shape right now. I'm going to cut it out into um, a circle so that it better fits on this circle. There's two different ways you can do this. So 
you can cut it out now so that it goes onto the circle or we can just use this as our canvas and start adding ripped tissue paper and then the finished product we can put on here and finish it up. So that's what I'm going to do. You can do it either way. Um, so the next step would be to take a bunch of different pieces of ripped tissue paper. I rip them because I think it looks cool. Um, you can rip as many of each color as you want. This one has about two or three layers of tissue paper and that was really only to cover up the dots from this. So it's totally your call on how many layers you want to add um, to make the colors look just right and how you want, to, want it to look. So I'm just going to rip up some different pieces of tissue paper like some greens and blues. It's kind of fun because I like ripping paper. And if you wanted perfect shapes, you totally can cut it. Tissue paper is kind of hard to cut because um, it's so thin, but you are welcome to do this however you want. So I just have a bunch of little pieces of tissue paper, um, all different shapes and sizes. I don't like them too big, so sometimes my bigger ones I'll rip a little bit more. So I have one green, and then do a couple more colors. And do some blue as well. And it is a little bit almost easier to rip and it goes a little quicker if you um, fold a piece of like a piece of tissue paper in half and then rip it at the same time you get twice as many, twice as fast. Alright, I'm gonna rip up about one more color. I think I'm gonna do some yellow. Kinda go with that greens and blues theme I'm going with. Okay. So I have a few different colors whipped up. I'm going to get started on gluing them on. At this point you can totally pause the video and um, rip up some more tissue paper and get yourself ready if you aren't ready yet. If it's taking a little bit longer that's totally fine. I'm going to try to use the glue stick today because I like the way that it looks better but it does make it a little bit tougher to do because um, tissue paper just wants to rip when you Pull it with the um, glue stick. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on a piece and just glue it on anywhere. And just mix it up as much as you want. Make the pattern look however you want. Um, I'm just going to start gluing on a lot of different colors. Kind of all randomly. I like to overlap mine a little bit. Eventually I'm going to probably have like two layers anyway. Um, it's really cool because the sun shines through the tissue paper so if you put two or three layers on that's totally cool. 
sun will still show through. See how I'm kind of just randomly collaging them together. That's exactly how it goes. However you want it to look. And it's okay if you have little white spaces open. Um, so like I said, we're gonna I'm gonna do a couple layers so I can leave some white spaces and white might be really cool showing through anyway. Whatever color you have in the background. You can use a colored background to add whatever that color is to your picture too. Or to your art. doing this today and what they all look like. Super excited for it. Over the next couple weeks you could make a few of these, hang them all over your back door or a window um, and let the sun shine through. I think they're really pretty. So this is my progress so far. Gluing them on kind of random. Eventually, I will have the circle around it and I'll cut off this extra white paper around it so it's in a circle. Looks like I need some more greens on mine. kind of a fun activity to do pretty much any time of the year because you have most of the supplies at home. Um, sometimes I run out of tissue paper but a lot of times I have some. Um, but also you can switch up the colors and the shape and get creative for different holidays. You know you can do a pumpkin during the fall. Um, you can do some Christmas themed ones. You could make flowers. You can do just about anything with these which is pretty cool. If you're a little bit quicker than me, you're welcome to pop ahead on this video too. That is totally fine. This is about how far mine is. I just have a few more to add before I'm going to add the border um, just to make it a little bit quicker today.
little bit of glue in. I guess this would be a pretty good Easter craft too. You could make eggs. I was just thinking about how mine kind of looks like an egg. two more pieces on and make my border just so I can show you what that looks like. Awesome, and if you're still going gluing pieces on, totally fine. I'm gonna move on to the next step just so you guys can see what I do, and then at that point, it is totally up to you. So I'm going to actually turn it over to the back side, and I'm gonna trace this so that I can then cut it out to be the right size. I don't want to trace it on the side with all the tissue paper because then it would show a little too much. So where I traced it, I can really see if I hold it up to the light, but I'm going to go a little bit farther around because I have this thick border and since I traced the inside circle, I just want to go a little bit out from that just to give it some space. You might be cutting off some of your tissue paper, which is totally fine. All right, so it should be hopefully about the shape of whatever your border is. I'm gonna just take this glue because it's a little bit easier. And I'm going to glue this side of the border. All the way around. So I just glued a thin layer like that. I'm going to take this and stick it on there. And press it down. If you don't have both kinds of glue, that's totally fine. You can continue using whatever glue you have for this part. You could even just tape it to the back as well. And there it is. Let me show you really quick what I do with them. So when it's super sunny out, I will hang mine up like this, and the sun shines through, it's really pretty. I'm super excited to see what everybody else's look like, um, and the different shapes, and how unique everyone is, because they're all going to be totally different. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.